here I am. Hello, everybody. Hello there. Welcome, welcome. Welcome to my house. What is that all about? I see a little window down here. I don't want to see that. Okay, goodbye. All right, great, welcome. Um, hi, thank you for joining me today. I know it's a little bit different. Usually I do this on Thursday, but um, that's tomorrow. I will be, um, I'll be uh, having dinner with someone, with uh, a couple, so that's nice. So um, instead of uh, rushing out of that or whatever, not knowing where I'll be tomorrow, I thought I'll do it today. And I promised a beep beep story, so that's what you're gonna get today, okay? Um, just a quick little uh, uh, update on how things are going and then a, uh, a beep beep story, all right? So that's great. I, um, I'm still able to do this, thanks be to God, every week. Thank you for your flexibility. Sometimes it has to be right after a confirmation mass, like last week. I did, um, I did that uh, from Christ the King Mission, part of St. Rita Parish. Um, it was a little hectic, I know, because people were there in church taking pictures after the Mass, and I was in the back doing the video, but I wanted to be faithful to that, to you, and uh, to connect with you. Um, I really appreciate how many people say that this is uh, very important for them. Um, it's important for all of us just to stay connected, you know, to have just uh, some some uh, joy, if you will, even, and, and some teaching as well, and some prayers, but even some joy, you know, during uh, in this time of... Uh, trial and difficulties and challenges that we're facing all over so so that's I'm glad that we're able to do that I'm able to do that okay I'm gonna look where's the camera the camera is over oh right there okay that's what I'm gonna look hi there I'm gonna look right at you and I have this light that um, I was given from the office so that's good it, it fills in my face a little bit yeah gives me some color okay great Anyway, um, last week I, I did mention this before or in my little video, but it was such a blessing to gather with almost all of the priests of the diocese. We gathered for two days, two and a half days really, um, and uh, we were all given a rapid test for COVID-19 before we went in and everyone, of course, uh, tested negative. And so we felt even better, even though with our seats were kind of, were spread apart, you know, um, there was some social distancing and everything, but uh, it was nice to have that assurance that we had all just at that point tested negative. So um, I spoke to them the first night at length about um, just how uh, pleased I am and happy uh, that they have, the priests have, have done so many um, unique things uh, and um, uh, innovative uh, measures to, to continue to minister through live streaming, through videos, calling each parishioner in some cases, visiting people when possible, you know, going to the hospital even in dangerous situations. Um, just told them that I'm very proud of them, very happy uh, about what they're doing and reminded them that um, our people, our parishioners pray for them and love them very much. And uh, I think that's important for them to hear. And, um, and then I talked to them and challenged them a little bit um, in the areas of uh, prayer and, um, and forming friendships, friendships with each other as brother priests, but also with uh, lay people, families, um, especially, so that uh, just to, to help us to be well-rounded individuals and so that, you know, we don't all, none of us really gets, kind of um, closes in on ourself. We really need friendships, we need to, we need the community, um, and uh, we need prayer. So I really challenge them to, uh, to kind of step it up in, in those areas. And, and we just had, um, some good prayer together and good meals together and everything. And then we concluded, you probably saw or maybe joined it, you uh, participated, we concluded with the Chrism Mass at St. Rita Parish in Santa Rosa Beach. It was just awesome, great, I love that. That's the only liturgy in the whole year where the bishop, um, before he, he prays over the Chrism, he pours in the balsam, he, I, I poured in the balsam, which makes it smell so good, stirred it, special spoon and then it says the bishop may blow over the chrism and so I, I, I really like to be dramatic and do that and um, that of course is a sign of, uh, of the Holy Spirit of God's very breath you know over the chrism over over and blessing it with with his uh, presence and with the Holy Spirit um, so that was what we did last week so that was really great um, okay great and then right after that I celebrated Confirmation, as you probably saw, at Christ the King in Spanish for about, I think I 
confirmed 14 or 15 young people. And this was really neat. I'd never seen this before. They were talking about the fruits of the Holy Spirit and um, the 12 fruits of the Holy Spirit. And then they actually kind of, I don't know where this came from, but they had ascribed a certain, a real fruit to one of the spiritual fruits. And, um, and then they gave me a basket at the end with 12 different fruits, watermelon, grapes, pomegranate, um, cactus, um, cactus, yeah, flower, whatever, um, uh, uh, orange, thing. I, I've eaten most of it, a coconut, and um, it was really neat. I just liked that. I really appreciated that they put some effort into it, some an extra thought into it, and, uh, and made that connection so that perhaps when they see a watermelon now, they might think, yummy, watermelon, but they also might think, oh, that for us represents patience, one of the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Don't ask me how that, I, I don't know that connection, but they do. Anyway, okay, great. All right, and um, so I, I promised a beep beep story. It's been a little while, and um, this idea came to me from someone watching uh, the title anyway, and so I'm gonna run with it. I practiced it tonight. So let's see how this goes, all right? I'm a little rusty with these, it's been a while, but let's start this as we often do. Oh, and if, if, if you tuned in for something more serious tonight, I'm sorry. This is gonna be a beep beep story, so you can join next week, but it'll probably be more serious. But anyway, here goes. Who's that car running down the street street? Little red car, it's gotta be beep beep. And all the children go, go beep beep, go beep beep, go beep beep, go. Thank you, okay. Okay, so our stories always start in the same way. It's Beep Beep sitting in the garage and um, he's, he's a little sad to be by himself, but, but he knows he's a car and he's gonna spend a lot of time on his own and he always thinks about what the next adventure is going to be with the humans. Oh, and it's Sunday morning. Beep Beep loves Sunday mornings because that's when the humans normally go to church and he loves to go to church. He loves to sit outside to talk to some of the other cars. Sometimes um, the, the bishop's car is out there and will give a little homily, you know, and give a little talk for the cars and everything, and he really enjoys that. But he likes just, he's so proud to take the humans to church and then and to take them back home again after. Remember, Beep Beep, though, he, he was a little jealous. He was jealous of the humans because, yeah, he gets to go to the church, he can sit outside and wait, and sometimes if he's lucky and the windows are open or the doors open, he can hear the music and hear them talking and praying. But he just, he's jealous, he wants to be in there. And um, whenever they celebrate something like, you know, um, a baptism or a confirmation or something like that, he's just, he's kind of jealous and he's, he's excited for the humans, but he, he wants to do that. He, he would love to be baptized one day, you know, or be confirmed, but he's a car, it's never gonna happen, right? Oh, and then remember one time, the little boy received his first communion and Beep Beep was so proud of him, you know, and everything of the little boy. But then he thought, you know, when after mass, the boy got in the car and he just, he felt, he was so, he was like glowing. He was so excited, you know, because he had just received the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. But Beep Beep was a little jealous, you know. Yep, cars can get jealous. He was a little jealous. He thought, I want first communion. I want any communion, but I'm never going to get it. But then, remember the story? Beep Beep thought, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. That boy just received Jesus' real presence. And now, that boy is in me, in, in the car. I am driving that boy who now is carrying the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus. So, in a way, I did receive communion today. And every time that the family gets in after Mass, it's kind of like I'm, I'm, I received communion with them. That's good enough for a car, he says. So he's, he's, he was pretty happy. But still, always wanted to be the one to get baptized or confirmed one day, you know, but knew that that was never going to happen. Well, so the family gets in, the humans get in, and they drive to church, and Beep Beep's happy. And they park, and Beep Beep, you know, gets to, greets his neighbors and everything while the family's in there. And he waits and everything. And then about 50 minutes later, 55 minutes later, the door opens, and here comes people, and Beep Beep's like, oh, it's open. Oh, no, those are just the people that leave after communion. There's always two or three. And um, he never understood why they didn't wait there until the end of Mass. I mean, it's just a couple more minutes, but they seemed to be in a hurry. They just went to their cars and drove away. But anyway, okay, so he knew he'd have to wait just a couple more minutes. And sure enough, the doors opened, 
and here comes everyone. They all, they're all coming out. And Beep Beep, of course, is looking for his, his humans, his family. All the cars are looking for their humans. And he sees his, his humans, his family, coming toward him. And, but they're not alone. The bishop is with them. The bishop is walking with them and talking with them. And he's like, what? why is the bishop coming toward me? What's going to happen here? And they keep walking toward him. And the bishop is carrying a little book and a bucket with a stick in it. What is that? I've never seen anything like that before. What's going to happen? They walk up to the car and they, they circle around the car and the, and the bishop starts to pray. And the bishop says, I wonder what, what happened? Did someone die or something? Why are they praying here? Oh, oh, I've heard about this. Oh, I, think, I think I'm going to get baptized. Or I'm not baptized because I'm a car, but I think I'm going to get blessed. That's what they're doing. So they all bowed their heads and the bishop prayed, Dear God, we thank you for helping us to make machines like this, cars like this that can keep us safe and take us to church and to our friends and to school and bring us back home safely. Help us all to remember that all of us are on a journey to our true home in heaven to bring us safely home there one day. Amen. And, and then they all lifted up their heads and the bishop reached into the bucket and he got the, the stick in there and he, and he pulled it out and he started to splash water all over Beep Beep. At first it was cold and he was, it took his breath away, his little car breath. <gasps> and, but then he's like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. This feels so good, I'm being, I'm being baptized. All right, I'm not being baptized. I've gotta stop saying that because I'm just a car. I don't have a soul, I know, I know. But I, it's kind of like a baptism. So the bishop goes around and, and, and sprays the water, sprinkles the water on the hood and then on the windows and the doors and even the wheels in the back and then on the other side, the other windows, the other doors and the other wheels. And then, and the mom says, well, what about the inside? And the bishop said, yeah, open the doors. So they opened up the doors and the bishop kind of poked his arm in and he started to splash the water inside and Beep Beep thought, oh, he's going to be in trouble because the, the parents always get mad when the kids spill their drinks in, in me in the car. But they didn't get in trouble and the bishop, bishop finished and everything and they all circled around the car and they said the Our Father together. And then when they were done, the bishop blessed all the humans and him. And the humans got in and they, they thanked the bishop and they got in the car. Well, you can imagine how Beep Beep felt. I mean, this little red car felt like a bulldozer. He's driving through town, you know, and he's just so proud. And he's driving there, waving at everyone. And then all of a sudden it hit him. It, he, 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 he realized that when the little humans were baptized, they always had a candle, a special candle. He didn't get a candle. Where's, where's he going to get a candle? Why didn't they give him a candle? Oh, wait a minute. I'll turn on my lights. I'll turn on my brights. That's how I feel. So he turns on the brights. And the, per the human who's driving says, whoa, the lights just went on and I can't turn them off. You can't turn them off? What do you mean? They're stuck on. The lights are stuck on? That's weird. This car does some weird things. Well, I don't know. Just let's, let's just go home and then we'll try to work on it there. Maybe it'll go off when we turn off the engine at home. Good idea. Okay, so they're driving through. Beep Beep's got his high beams on. He's waving at everyone. You know, cars are like, hey, Beep Beep, you look different. I am different. <clears throat> Excuse me. I am different, he says. I was baptized today. And they said, baptized? You're not, a, you're not a human. You mean blessed. Yeah, I was blessed today. Well, looking good, buddy. Looking good. God bless you. I don't know why. <clears throat> God bless you. Something was stuck in Beep Beep's throat, obviously. So then they see he's just kind of driving around and everything. Well, now they come to a red light and there's two cars. They look. Beep Beep's never seen these cars before. He thinks he just gets this bad feeling like they're a little mean. And they pull up one on his right and one on the left. And they say, hey, you're new, or not new, I never met you, who are you? And he says, I'm Beep Beep. And they're like, yeah, why are you all wet? It's not raining today. He says, cause I was blessed by the bishop. Blessed, you were blessed, ha, huh, you're just a car. And then the one on the right, the car on the right, squirts the uh, windshield wiper fluid all over the side of Beep Beep. And the one on the, on the other side does the same thing on the other side. And they're just pelting him with, with this windshield water, windshield wiper fluid. And the humans inside Beep Beep are like, what is going on? They look at the humans in the other cars and they're like, we don't know. We don't know why it's doing this. They're trying to stop the knobs from doing it, but they're squirting Beep Beep, laughing at him. And Beep Beep's getting mad. Oh, he's getting mad. And he's saying, you know, his, his instinct is, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to open up all four doors really fast and, and scratch these cars. And, but then Beep Beep's like, wait a minute. 
I was just blessed. I, I, I can't do things like that anymore. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm a new car. I can't do that. And so Beep Beep says, okay, thanks you guys. Thank you very much. You, um, I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, that's great and everything. But anyway, you just reminded me of what a great blessing today was, how I got blessed by the bishop. So thank you for doing that. And you guys, yeah, thank you for reminding me how good life is. So thank you. And he said, and he said God bless you both. That's great. I hope I see you guys again. And both of the cars looked at each other and they felt really bad. And they're like, yeah, I guess that was a dumb thing to do. Sorry, kid. We won't do that again. And Beep Beep's like, okay, no problem. And they, oh, look, the light's green. And they drove off. And Beep Beep says, God bless you, as he's driving away. And they drove back home and everything and got in the, got in the, the garage. And the family got out and everything. And they were just kind of patting the car. And they said, that was really neat. Beep Beep got, or they didn't say Beep Beep. Our car got blessed. And then the little boy said, hey, since the car got blessed today, maybe we should give the car a name. You see, we call the car Beep Beep, but the family, they don't call him anything. And so um, they said, that sounds like a good idea. What name should we call the car? And Beep Beep, they don't, they don't understand. And Beep Beep is saying, he's really loud. He's like, say Beep Beep, say Beep Beep, Beep Beep, that's my name. And they're like, Harold? Or maybe Monica? Beep Beep, say Beep Beep. Um, maybe uh, Roberto, Ismerelda, I don't know. And beep, 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 even honks like twice. Beep, 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 beep. And they're like, what was that? It's the horn. Anyway, forget it. And the, the, the little boy says, I know, it should start with a G or something or a J. George, John. And the little girl says, Junebug. And the family looks at her and they say, that's a great name, Junebug. And beep, beep, he thinks, Junebug? Oh my gosh, what a, I don't want, I don't want that name. They're like, that's the perfect name. We'll call the car Junebug. You are Junebug. It was a great day, Junebug. And they walk in the house and Beep Beep's like, oh, I'll never live that down. I'm not going to tell anyone that they gave me that name. As far as anyone knows, my name's Beep Beep. So there you go. And the, the, the door went down and Beep Beep was really happy. It was a good day for Beep Beep. The end. So there you go. That's my, uh, that's my story today. Um, somebody recommended that, that I talk about beep beep getting blessed. So there you go. Another episode to enjoy. Okay, everyone. I hope you have a good day. I hope, um, I hope you have a good night and sleep well. Um, remember to, uh, say your prayers. Um, I'll be praying after this. I pray for all of you. I pray for the diocese. I pray for, uh, uh, safety and, and those who are sick and everything. And I'll continue to do that for you. Please pray for me and for my ministry as well. All right. Until next week, hopefully we can do this. We can just keep doing this. Until next week, may God bless you. Let me say a prayer. Heavenly God, watch over your children always. Keep us safe. Keep us ever mindful of your presence, your love, your mercy, your forgiveness, your joy in our lives. Help us to reflect these things in the world so that all may know you through us. Bless us, keep us safe, and keep us on the right path always. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good night. God bless you.